All right, everyone, I have a review to do. It is on the Infantino um, Swift Classic Carrier. So normally we're not behind the camera like this, or I should say in front of the camera, but I got a product to review to go with this. So I wanted to review this first. Um, I bought this off Amazon. I believe it was $17.99. So it's a fairly cheap one. It's for eight to 25 pounds and there's two carrying positions. You can either have them facing you or away. Um, so we're going to check this out. So I have not had it out of the package. So this will be from me taking it out to putting it on. I'm not sure if we'll need instructions, but we will see. So it comes like this. So we're going to open it up here. Let's see what we got. So it looks like there's a couple little clips here, I'm guessing to let the baby out, or put the baby in. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's take a quick look at these instructions to make sure I show you how to use this correctly. I am in my scrubs, I'm a NICU nurse, um, or a traveling nurse, do pediatrics and NICU. So I just got off work, but I wanted to do this review quick because I've been meaning to. So it says, with the back straps adjuster facing you, the Infantino Eye logo, which is this, place your arms through the lower portion of the straps. Okay. So, it's like that, and then over your head, like that. Now, let's see how long. Okay, so we got that part on. Um, unbuckle the head support tighteners and side closures. So we unbuckled the head. Where's the side closure one? Ah, right here. Okay. And there's a piece of Velcro. So we got that. The round back strap adjuster should fit comfortably in the middle of your back. If necessary, pull the adjuster down by using the back strap adjustment. Okay, so we'll just leave it how it is. I think it's okay. I mean, it might be a little high for me, but I'm a bigger plus size woman, I guess you could say. So with the carrier open on one side and the baby facing, you carefully slide the baby into the carrier by fitting his legs through this. So I'm gonna grab a baby. Come here, Charlie. So this is my Charlie. She is a reborn doll. Um, so I collect reborn dolls. So she's going to help us for this video. So it says slide the leg in there. Uh, oh, I left the instructions on the bed. Sorry. Okay. While supporting the baby with one hand, wrap the carrier around the baby so the chop legs are below this closure and hook the loop. So we're going to hook this loop. Got it. And then support the baby's head if they can't support their own. So I'm gonna stick her little arms out there. And then, where is this strap connector? Where do these ones connect to? Oh, up here. <laughs> so way up here. Hopefully this is all on camera. Otherwise, it'll be a waste of time. So, she could definitely be tightened in here some. That feels pretty comfy. There we go. To adjust the low high, the baby ride, lift the baby slightly and pull the shoulder straps in forward. Hmm. Attach the leg loop buttons. Oh, I see. So we got two. So there's these little buttons down here, and you're supposed to attach those. Do you have the baby in there? So they say doing the leg loop buttons is for babies. 
um, up to 11 pounds, so 8 to 11 pounds. And that just makes it a little bit snugger for them. Let's see. Good thing this baby don't cry. Since I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay. To adjust the high, how high the baby rides on your chest, lift the baby slightly forward and pull the shoulder strap in forward first one strap and then the other. Oh, so you can adjust it here, I believe. There you go. And then it also has what's called a wonder bib that it comes with, which is this little doodad. So if you have a drooly baby, you can place that between your chest and the baby. And let's see. And there we got it. So, I think that is it. And then I can show you in another video how to do the rear facing. So, kind of, she's kind of low down in there. And kind of open this up. You can see her, but she looks, feels comfortable to me. I guess I don't know how she looks, but um, comfy and I can adjust the straps how I want and she seems to be good. So there we go. I'm going to check this video and make sure it looks good before I do the rear face or forward facing part. All right, so I just want to um, try and back up a little bit. I know I have a wall there, but so you can kind of see her legs hanging down. And I think, I know I said she was kind of low facing, but if you had a baby who can't support their head, this would be perfect because her head is below this line, which is where it's supposed to be to help and hold that head up. So overall, I would say it's pretty good. I have not used it out walking for a long time so I don't know how heavy it would get um with a baby in it and she is weighted so you can I can feel her um in it pretty well she probably weighs like six pounds maybe a little less five six pounds um so it's pretty comfortable so I will do another um either part doing forward or another video I guess I could show you how to take her out. So if you want to take her out, undo these straps here, and then you'd undo these side straps. Probably do this, I think. Oh, that's to tighten it, so you can undo this loop too, to get her out. So then I would just lift her out like that. And her feet kind of get stuck so I'll probably lay her on me more to get her out so there she is isn't she cute she's in her little fourth of July outfit so summary so um, we'll get to that other part in just a minute all right everyone so this is gonna be how to use um, the carrier forward facing so i already have it on and i have baby frankie here to help me show you how to use it forward facing so let me grab the instructions so i tell you the correct way so with the carrier open just like this and everything's unsnapped i'm gonna slide the baby in facing forward supporting the baby So let's see. Ensure both head buckles are unfastened and then fold the head support area away. So that is how that goes. Now with the carry open on one side, slide the baby in while supporting the baby with my hand wrap and the side closure. So the side closure. 
enclosure here. So he's strapped in there. He's a little bit floppy in his head still. All right. Secure this side by first pressing the hook and loop on the carrier body flap into place. You'll hear a click. Now attach both head support buckles, making sure the head support area remains full. So we have the both the head support buckles here, but we want to make sure it remains folded down. And it's going to go, oh yeah, it goes up here. I feel like it's so high. But that way. There we go, buddy. Okay. Sorry, my nose was itchy. All right, so we got those done. And then to adjust how high the baby rides on your, can lift the straps. All right, so that's all it is. Oh, they have the arms on top. So I have the arms underneath here because he's kind of a shorter baby, but I guess you put the arms on top, so. I'm going to unsnap these and the arms are supposed to go like that. So I guess you could probably do it either way. So it feels kind of weird. And then you can kind of adjust your straps and him how you want. And then it has this little drill bib here that goes on the front. So the product I'm going to review in my next video will be the some extra bibs that we can add on to here. And I think that that is the two ways to use this. So this again is the Infantino Swift Classic Carrier. Um, it can go forward or rear facing. Um, really easy to use really inexpensive and it seems to fit the babies pretty good if you have an 8 to 25 pound baby now i don't know these babies that i'm using are like zero to three months size um newborn zero to three month so i'm not sure how they would work it would work with a bigger baby but there's lots of good options so I hope this was a helpful video for you guys and that you enjoyed it. And you can see how it sits on me, um, especially if you're plus size and you're looking for a carrier, like it's not that uncomfortable. So um, it does fit. There's not much to adjust with the straps. It goes over your head and you can snap them in. So um, I will show you my next review part in just a little bit in my next video. Thanks for watching.